Hola, you guys. This is Sincere Me One Two here, and first of all, excuse the no makeup. Um, you guys know I've been sick for about two or three days now, so I'm finally feeling better, and I thought I would do this video. And basically, this is gonna be um, my foundation routine with my new Elf powder brush. Um, I use it as my foundation brush. So I basically just wanted to do a quick updated one of my foundation routines because I have a few. So, um, but this is the one that I've been doing lately and this is the one I want to show you guys. So what I'm going to start with, and I'm just moving everything to minimize the mess. I'm going to start with my Maybelline Mineral Power Natural Perfecting Concealer. And this one is in cream. And just going to take some of that and just dot it where I want my concealer to go. And I'm going to start with my eyes first. I always kind of do like a, a V or a U shape. And I have pretty bad under eye circles now because I've been sick. So and I'm just, I like to make a W on my nose I take my concealer pretty far when I put it on you don't have to I prefer to do it this way and then on the sides of my nose and then um just you know use my finger to blend it in and I'm tapping and blending at the same time um, I find this to be easier and it looks like I have a lot of concealer and that's because I do um, because I have such dark circles I like to kind of OD on the concealer and I bring it to my nose I have very big pores on my nose so I conceal them with that and just take some into my eye same over here. Once you've been putting concealer on for a while, you will um, find your own way of doing it. So, this is what works for me. And I like my concealer to be lighter than my foundation gonna take some concealer and put it where I think I need it I have a little pimple on the top of my nose so blend that in in the corners of my chin and that's it so once your concealer is blended in if you need more go for it I'm just gonna put a tad bit more where it's still a little dark for me I'm telling you I've been so sick that it just looks awful I'm not tugging or pulling at the eye because we're trying to minimize the, the wrinkles that happen when you tug and pull and I'm gonna be 32 next month so I rather minimize as much as I can okay once that is done um, I go for the foundation and the foundation that I'm gonna use today is my L'Oreal true match super blendable compact makeup and this one is in C4 shell beige and this looks like that it's a cream compact um, it comes with a mirror here I just don't want to blind you guys and it comes with a sponge but I never used the sponge um, I just I didn't like the way it put the foundation on and I'm gonna use this brush and basically what I'm gonna do is just put it in there and then just buff it on my face if I was using regular um, liquid foundation with this I would put the foundation on my hand 
tap it in there and then just tap it on and then blend but because this is a creamier consistency I really don't have to tap it on too much so you put as much or as little as you want this brush is nice and soft so that's what I have on there then see if I tap it on there's nothing coming on so just buffing it on And I love this brush because it also helps me blend the concealer better with the foundation. Going back for more. The nice thing about this foundation that I'm using is that you can um, build it up if you wanted to. You don't have to. It would all depend on how much foundation you want on that day. And the brush is so soft, you guys. If you guys are looking for a really soft foundation brush, then this is it. Even though this doesn't say that it's a foundation brush, um it's amazing it just works amazing doesn't scratch your face or anything like that it's very soft very easy to use doesn't pull on your skin or anything like that and i always like to go into my hairline Excuse the hair. It's um, clean hair. Haven't done anything to it. And I don't think I'm doing anything to it. Whatever you put on your face or whatever I put on my face, I like to bring it down. Like that it's one even palette and not two tones I really don't like the look of foundation and then pale and I find this foundation to be so easy to use that if you're a first timer and you want to try liquid foundation but are afraid to try liquid foundation then this creamy consistency would actually be the perfect one to start with because like I said it doesn't go on drastically and it just gives you such a nice natural finish I, I really love it I don't know if they still make it if they don't find something similar but if they do, I'm going to pick up a few more because I really, really do like this foundation. And it doesn't feel as heavy as regular liquid foundation. Even though I love liquid foundation, I, I prefer it over powder. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I have a concealer brush. And this concealer brush, I like using it um, to put some of the foundation. So I'm going to the foundation on the corner of my nose. And then just blend it through. Also helps under the eyes and that's it you guys then I'm gonna go set it with a powder and to set this one I'm just gonna use my bare minerals um, pure radiance uh, it has kind of a little bit of a shimmer and the reason I'm doing this is because that's the only thing I have out right now um, I'm just working with what I have so I am going to use 
my um, Bare Minerals angled brush. Just going to go in there, tap it, and then because this does have somewhat of a shimmer, I'm just going to make a three on my face. And this is kind of, I guess, a easy everyday look without going overboard. And then I'm just going to go into my mineral mineral veil. I'm also trying to use um, the stuff I have because I have so much stuff and I never use it. So this is my mineral veil. put some on the lid again put the brush in there tap off any excess and just set that foundation and you can use whatever powder you want to set that foundation I'm using this because I'm trying not to buy anything else and use what I do already have at hand. I have too much stuff. Okay. Once I'm done with that, I grab my um, mini powder brush and I like using this to set the foundation under my eyes using the same powder and this helps me get into those little corners more and the corner of my nose that's why I like that little tapered not, well, not tapered um, whatever it's called more pointier brush and that's it you guys that's basically you know my quick foundation routine with my elf um, powder brush and my true match from L'Oreal stay tuned for part two of this video which I will do a quick everyday routine easy to use can be done in minutes um, just stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Besos.